Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. Some time ago I made a video about how to install Windows 11 on a Mac computer using the Parallels desktop app. Parallels is a paid application and for around 100 bucks per year it is quite an expensive app. But I have some great news for you. In this video I will show you a free alternative application to get Windows 11 on your Mac without paying a single penny. It's called UTM. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos on my channel as well. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. To get Windows 11 on your Mac, you need to install the UTM app. This virtual machine application is completely free, so you don't have to pay anything to use Windows on your Mac. But the installation process is a bit more complex than in Parallels Desktop. So how to install it? It's very easy. Go to mac.getutm.app. Click on the download button. After finishing the download process, open the app file and drag and drop UTM into your applications folder. Open this application. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Choose Virtualize. Select Windows as the operating system and the app will automatically adjust its settings for Windows. Make sure to check to install drivers and spice tools, it's very important. We need also to have a VHDX file with Windows 11 to be able to create a virtual machine. Don't worry, getting this file is pretty easy and it's free of course. Go to insider.windows.com this link will be in the description of this video. Here you need to register for the Windows Insider program to get Windows 11 VHDX file. Click on the register button. Before registering you have to of course connect to your Microsoft account or create a new one, it doesn't matter. Accept all terms and conditions and click register. Once you registered you need to go to microsoft.com software download Windows Insider Preview ARM64. This link will also be in the description. Select your edition and choose developer channel and not beta channel. Then click on the confirm button. You have also to choose your language. Click on the download button and wait until the download process will be complete. The file is over 10 GB, so be patient before the download will be finished. Once you have the VHDX file with Windows 11, you can proceed with the creation of your virtual machine on your Mac. Go back to the UTM app and select your VHDX file. Click continue, adjust how much memory you can give to your virtual machine and CPU cores. Click continue. Then simply run the virtual machine. You will see Windows 11 installation process. Wait until it shows the Windows 11 setup screen. Once you see this setup screen, hit on your keyboard, function, shift and F10 keys. It will open Windows Terminal. Type this command, oob anti slash bypass nro and hit enter button. The virtual machine will restart and then you can follow the installation process. The command you just typed allowed us to bypass the internet connection to activate Windows. Choose I don't have internet and simply follow the installation process. It can take 10 to 15 minutes before Windows will be fully installed. And voila, you just installed Windows 11 on your Mac. Well, obviously it's a virtual machine, but you can run Windows apps on your Mac completely for free. How cool is that? Well, if you want to adjust the resolution of your Windows 11 virtual machine, you have to go to um, Finder. I mean files app or I don't know how it's called on Windows, go here and install Spice Tools. The virtual machine will reboot and you will be able to adjust your resolution. And now the big question, can it run PC games? No, probably not. UTM does not currently support GPU emulation virtualization on Windows and therefore lacks of support for 3D acceleration. 
You may be able to run older games with software rendering options, but nothing with hardware acceleration. Anyway, I think UTM is a great application. First of all, it's completely free, so if your budget is limited and you don't have enough money to purchase a perilous desktop, a UTM is a great alternative for you. If you want to install Windows for gaming, it is better to use Parallels Desktop. By the way, I made a couple of videos about this application, so check it out if you're interested. By the way, I will be making a video where I will be comparing the Parallels Desktop 18 and UTM4. I will try to run apps and games on both Windows 11 virtual machines and we will try to see which app is better, so subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions you can comment below and I will try to help you. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tech oriented videos. Thanks again and see you later on YouTube, bye bye.